okay so i'm gonna record a little bit um so what's been happening for the past few days is that yeah i recently found a job i found a job in a catering place and uh, this is in malaga spain and basically it's like a job where you serve food you assist people you pick a place you clean a little bit right and yeah it's a very social job so all day i'm kind of talking to people you know i'm serving food and yeah it's a job that i really enjoy because yeah it's around people but the negative part of the job is that it's very difficult i mean the hours typically it's like seven until the evening time i mean i'm only working eight until six which is 10 hours but still that's a lot and it's like almost every day and i don't really know the schedule i don't know how long like these things last because right now we're doing an event uh here at the university and it lasts a whole week from monday until sunday and yeah after that i don't know the guy said that we might go to Paris because they they do events like everywhere in Europe. So I guess they need people that can like fly everywhere, you know, and do events in different places. And I think for me, that's not going to be possible because obviously I have a girlfriend and I have a kid coming on the way. Um, but anyways, yeah, I think I should kind of um, go back to the video I did when I was on the bike talking about anxiety. And just feeling kind of unfulfilled feeling, feeling depressed um and like honestly a lot of those things when i started just went away and it's very strange and yeah i kind of have an idea why it happened like why i was feeling so anxious why i was feeling depressed it was because i wasn't really part of anything over here you know i was just kind of living going to cafes hanging out with my girlfriend and yeah i was very comfortable but i wasn't involved in anything and recently i also started jujitsu again you know and that felt really great to see some old people and kind of be a part of something but i think yeah what was happening was there was a lot of anxiety from the the thought of like trying to be involved trying to join some community trying to become a little bit more Spanish um, and yeah it's kind of like the unknown you know it gives you a lot of like it really nerves you a little bit right it makes you anxious because you don't know what's gonna happen you don't know how you're gonna be working at a job in Spain you don't know how you're gonna be you know joining some class in a different country you know and the language barrier and the different type of people and yeah that might you know cause you some anxiety but uh, yeah I feel much better now you know that this is my literally third day here at work but I feel much better like actually having something to do you know even if it's doing catering at an, at an event you know it does it's not like an important job you know you just feed people and try to make people happy but it's a job that yeah where you can find fulfillment in <clears throat> and i always really enjoyed working around people you know i never really liked parties i was never like the type of person going out and drinking and going to festivals i mean i did that at some point in my life but i really don't enjoy those things because yeah i just don't like crowds i don't know, like a lot of people but i think with this job it's a little bit more like yeah, it could be, you, you You could say that it's a little bit more introverted because yeah, typically, you know, sometimes I'm in the coffee machine and I'm making drinks, you know, and I just have conversations with like one person at a time. You know, it's not like I'm talking to a whole crowd or trying to entertain a whole crowd. Or one job that I used to have was canvassing and you had to stop people on the street and smile and put on this whole presentation. Here, it's just more chill, you know, have a conversation, give them food, them something to drink 
you know you get to know them and that's it you know there's no pressure to do anything and i like these type of jobs and also you know you have things to do so there's always like you can clean you can hand out food uh, you can organize something you can restock something and again it's only my third day on the job you know i know already that i'm not gonna do this for uh, long term because yeah the hours are just insane <laughs> You know, at the beginning it's fun, you know, it's exciting because it's something new and I'm getting to learn a little bit more Spanish and interact with the Spanish people and it's cool. Actually, um, I mean, the workers are Spanish. The people that we're serving, they're like part of Google. So they have some Google event here and we're serving the engineers and the people who do all that stuff in the background. Um, but what else can I say? Yeah, it's a good job to start. And I think that's for me, that was the biggest barrier is was to start, you know, because I had that kind of uh, starting anxiety, you know. And man, I went on my bike, you know, and I had my resume. This was like a couple week, a week before this at least, you know, and I was riding around the coast, looking at all these restaurants and cafes and I couldn't go in, I couldn't give in my resume because I just felt so anxious. And the same thing with like trying to apply for jobs in the center, I did the same thing. I walked around for a little bit and I couldn't go in, I couldn't speak to like the hiring manager. There was even one time I was sitting in a cafe in the center and I wanted to apply you know, for jobs that day and behind me there was an interview happening with the hi hiring manager and the, the worker and I could have just said something to the hiring manager after she finished the interview you know ask if there is jobs or whatever and I'm sure she could have given me something at least a business card or, or something uh, but I didn't do it because I had that anxiety of starting uh, so I think that this job is really good for starting because it kind of gets me out my shell and then while I have this for the next week or so i'm gonna look at other jobs and try to find one where the schedule is a little bit less hours you know something in the morning from like i don't know eight until two because yeah right now you know i leave the house at like seven and then i come back home around 6 30 7 p.m you know so that's like 12 hours being out here and yeah and then i only have like an hour or two with my girlfriend because i try to go to sleep at like 9 30. you know and if i want to do anything else like work on some youtube videos or maybe do some designs on the side you know because that's that was my profession before doing graphic designs i can't because there's literally no time and also working out or going to jiu-jitsu i can't do that either because the whole day i'm working so it kind of sucks and yeah, it's crazy. It's crazy to me how before I started this, everything was so chill. You know, I was going to the cafe in the morning, having a coffee, doing some design work, you know, maybe going out with my girlfriend to the beach. Um, and then, yeah, I had all this time. And now I start this job and literally there's like, I mean, there is obviously time you can make time, but it, yeah, I don't have that. I don't have that space to do anything I want. You know, I have to be very structured now. So I have to wake up early if I want to do anything like exercise or meditate. And today I did it. You know, I woke up, I went for a run, did a meditation, had some tea and yeah, drove here a little bit earlier so I could do a video. So you can always make time even if you don't have time. Um, but yeah. And I think I prefer having a job like this, you know, even though we don't get paid a lot of money, I think it's like 10 an hour. It's still a really nice job because again, you're being involved, you know, you're practicing the language, you're kind of inside the, um, the like um, community or I don't know, like the community of workers, you know, so you really see how they're living, you know, what they talk about, their jokes. And it's really cool to really, to see that Spanish culture, you know, in the workplace. And that's what 
yeah excites me and I, yeah i feel a little bit tired right now because i didn't sleep so much like six hours but yeah right now i will probably head into work because i start at eight um and yeah and i'll keep on updating you guys on what's happening <laughs> all right peace out